Hey, this is Jenny Jones, Digital Growth Hacks Club. Hey, listen, got a new tool I wanted to put in front of you called um, HeyBase. Um, it is a tool for digital sales rooms uh, packed with interactive features to close deals fast. Now, I think if you're kind of new to the LTD community, I think this may be definitely something you want to look at. If you've been around the LTD community before, you have probably can put together one of these on your own and not even discouraging, not even saying that it's a bad deal. I just want you to kind of take a look at some of the things that it has. And basically what they do is they give you these interactive, the sales room that you can send and put your entire sales presentation together. Um, I think the concept is nice. Let's look at what the deal is. $69 one time um, with a 60 day money back guarantee. Uh, again, if this is your first time to this channel, please go ahead and like subscribe. I'm going to break this down and unpack it and kind of compare it to some other tools and maybe show you behind the scenes of some of the things you can do with it. Um, 179 gets you 20 users, unlimited active rooms, right? And custom domain removal of branding. And what this basically means is unlimited active rooms. I mean, you can basically send out unlimited invitations, if you will, to or unlimited presentations, right? So this would be more if you had a small sales team of about 20 people, each person would have their own uh, opportunity to set up different rooms. Like say you got one salesperson, they're working on five deals and another one's working on two deals and another one's working on 10. You have unlimited access to different active rooms. This is a small team um, yourself and maybe a couple other people, but this has 50 active rooms um, and all the rooms I think are, are shared looking at what he was saying. I don't know if there's a way that they can separate the rooms. I think all the rooms just show up on the dashboard. Um, and so this definitely isn't, this is definitely for a tight knit team and it's definitely you, everyone can see everyone's presentations from what I understand. I could be wrong. Um, it says embed anything. This is not as true. You can embed the um you can utilize some of the integrations that they have but you can't embed anything and from what i understand they're going to have an iframe coming out probably in the next 30 to 60 days so you can't embed anything and i will show you what that looks like um so i think that's i don't know if that's good I, and i i don't think it's bad it's just that i have my tech stack is so deep right now that um i can put one of these together on my own so let me let you take a look at what we got behind the scenes. Let's take a look at it. So this is what the room is. And, and basically what you do is you put together, these are the templates here. They're already pre-done. Like if I wanted to do a B2B um, SaaS type room, they're kind of giving you all the features that you would need for this type of presentation. Uh, you do your product demo here, features here, right? I think this is kind of neat. I just, I just think I, I know I've, I've already built one. It's even better than this, but I looked at this for a reason because I wanted it to be specific to one particular setup that I wanted to do. That's going to go. I have a new uh, program rolling out and I still, I'm still on the fence um, on this. I'm listening to the, the founders they are saying they're going to add a new, a lot of new things with it. I think that helps it, but I, there's some other things that I'm doing that I'm, I like what I'm doing now. And I don't think that I, that I have a need for, but what you can do here is you can build it out from scratch using all these different preset, um, uh, drag and drop tables here. The link only works for the link. I think one of the links there are missing is a HTML, um, tag that allows me to at least do an embed. And they're also missing some web hooks. Those are the things that even if they just had that, they don't need all the rest of this stuff, right? Miro, I mean, Calendly. I mean, Calendly to me is first generation. There's nothing wrong with Calendly, but if you're coming to an LTD community, then you're going to have an option for a tidy cow or something like that. And I'm going to show you what that looks like by putting in a, a tidy cow. You got your Google Docs. You, you know, you don't even have a PowerPoint um, embed or anything like that. I mean, most people will use Google cause it's kind of free and you got your Google drive and type form. I think that that's it. And I just, I believe they are missing web hooks and they are missing an HTML embed. That's what they're missing. That would help this out a lot. And what you do is you upload your logo. I mean, their logo here, the client's logo and this use so is me. I just use my face as a logo 
and you upload it, just say, hey, this is you and I, this is the presentation that I'm putting together for you. I think that's kind of wonky there. I don't, I don't know. It's both logos would sit there, but that could work for you. So you got, you know, you can do support. You put everything in here, testimonials, pricing. So this could cover everything for you, right? And then a person can schedule in here. This is nice and neat as a Calendly embed or a Calendly. You only put the link here. This is not an embed, but they've already used Calendly in here and you just go to the actual link. And I'm going to show you because they don't have an embed. I'm going to show you what it looks like with a tidy cow. So let me show you what the room looks that I built. And I kind of used, this is a room that I built and you can get your activity. You can see what's going on last seven days. You get insights here. I don't have really any insights here. I created this. Um, so let's take a look at this one and let's see what I built here. This is, I uh, built it 13 hours ago. Um, I sent it out right and let's edit it here let's take a look at what that looks like so this is again i use one of the templates here and i kind of use it for fintech corp about fintech right uh put my logo here that's my face and then this is kind of your breakdown here and then what they have is they have a kickoff call which is in here already that's the calendar but what i did was i mocked it up and put a tidy cal in there contact follow-up and here's what i did i basically went here i added a link here right you know, add it right there. I put my tidy cow link in there. And when I put the tidy cow link in there, this is what it gave me here. So let me see. So yeah, this is what it, what it gave me here. Just this box right here. So this is my tidy cow link. What I did was I went ahead and put in an image box. I, I just dropped in an image box there. And when I dropped in the image box, I just dropped that there. And then I just put uh, secret marketing hack one on one season. So I made it look a little bit. So it doesn't quite look like this. I think it looks a nice, a lot nice, cleaner, not a lot cleaner. And when you click on this, it actually takes you to my tidy cow landing page. So that's a nice little hack that you can do if you wanted to make this work. I don't think this is a bad tool. I just don't think that I think they're missing some elements like it's got YouTube and Loom. But I, a lot of other people use a lot of other things. So I think I need to have the ability to use um, maybe a Vimeo, maybe something else. But you can't, like I tried to use the Calendly link, right? I tried to use the Calendly link and I tried to paste in a tidy cow to see if it'll take. It wouldn't take. It only takes It only takes uh, Calendly. So that was a hack. You know me, I'm trying to find ways to make this stuff work for us. And you can record a nice little video here. It could be a little welcome here. Hey, here's a welcome. What I wanted to do is walk you through the seven areas of what we have here and so on and so forth. So you can actually do that Then you can save it. Now, um, let me show you what happened. So I guess we can look at the preview. And this is what it looks like when it shows up, when a person clicks on the link. This is actually what it shows up. But let me show you the interesting part uh, of something that really kind of turned me off. And hopefully uh, the founders would take heed to that. Let me show you what turned me off here. What turned me off is when it showed up in my email, because again, I'm testing it out. These tools, I keep them. If I don't keep them, um, I'll let you guys know or I talk about them. But I want to break down every single tool, every hack tool that I can try to find ways to make it work. So this is what happened. It shows up in my mail, but it shows up with the sales room shares, no reply. Hey, base. This was unacceptable for me. Um, so even if they had its own landing page, it still shows up in the email because you can only email it out. Right. So let's go back. You can only email it out. You can't share it with a link or anything like that. Um, so let's go to share. And then you can only just share it here. You can only share it. That's all you can do is, is share right here. All right. And so you can just put in an email and you want to share it. And this right here, copy invite link for some reason, that's not working. Right. So you can only share it via email, which is kind of limiting. And, and I was a little discouraged on that, but because it only shares via email, this is what I get. And it ended up in my advertising spot in my email box. It did not come to my inbox because it's Gmail. You know how Gmail is. And it came to the advertising. So this is where it landed. I couldn't even find it at first. And then all of this, this naked, um, this naked code right here is just to me, it's unacceptable. 
It has a, the hay base, uh, all rights reserved. I don't know if that works for the white label or not, but for white label, not giving me an opportunity to go to SMTP is to me, it was just unacceptable. Um, let me show you some alternatives since you hung around this long. Every, everybody already knows if you hang around in my videos, I always kind of give you some juice on the back end. Um, let's look at my super okay, right? Uh, super okay. I told you guys about this one. If you missed out on it, this, this is a killer program. I just love this program. I got, I think the tier two, which gave me unlimited rooms and workshops. And so for each person, they can go into my, their own portal and line it. And I, I can just send them a link and says, Hey, I put a presentation together for you, or here's your portal. So in all fairness, the other one is more of a sales presentation. This is more of a, a follow-up. A person becomes a client that they can have this, but this is based off the same concept. If you ask me and you can embed the, now this one, you can embed anything. So I will say that you can embed anything. Um, I've using, I've, I've been trying to get this up on my SAS use case TV, but I embedded this. This is, um, from one of the other tools. This is a, another tool that I used here from, um, AppSumo and I embedded the entire intake form in here. You could literally embed anything into this. Hate to be talking about it, but there's, there's things that when I try to do a hack, there's different ways I kind of come up with things. Um, I can also, I embedded a timeline here from one of the other programs as well. These are all the different things that I'm working on, but I mean, no here, no there. The thing that, that, that I got that for sales, I use this tool called uh, hippo video. I'll put a link in there definitely for this one as well. But this is the one that this is, I want, this is my sales page when people land on it. I want them to start, uh, they can actually start their interview, right? This is, they can start their interview, right? They could, uh, this clicks to a link and I, and then this is takes them to the podcast show of the, all the other shows that I did. And this takes them to another link of the presentation that I did. So the sample, so this is my presentation that I would do for a sales call. I think in comparison to the two, I think, um, I like the kind of technical stack that I have already. If I were to get that one and or keep it, and I, I still may do that as I kind of wrap up, but it would be really just committed to, for one project, one project only. And I would have to go at least to tier two because I want the removal of the branding. I want the, uh, custom domain, but I really, really got to have the SMTP because it's not really helping me. And I need a shareable link. I don't want to send anything in email. I want to, if I do, I want to send a presentation and then have them click on a link to do that. But I don't want that to be using that. So anyway, hopefully this was helpful. Uh, we had an opportunity to walk through, uh, Hey base. I don't think it's bad. I think if you don't have a nice tech stack, um, I think if you wanted to build this, I think this would be very, very, um, uh, sufficient, but I, I mean, I have so many tools I'm able to build my own. I like kind of what I'm using right now, but I think this is a good first round. I think they're probably maybe two or three iterations away, but if the founders seem like they're pretty engaged and if they can put things together, I think this will be a pretty solid pickup. Um, again, you can use, I will have a, um, um, I will have a link below that you can pick this up from. Again, I'm going to always test these tools, try them out, use them in my, my system. Um, I'm just not out here just getting, getting these free downloads and all other stuff. I actually purchased this. And like I said, I'm still, the verdict is out. If I still keep this or not, that's the thing with this one. I picked up two additional tools, secret tools, and I'm going to do a secret, uh, hack. There's two tools you gotta have that I picked up that no one's even talking about. It's not even on anyone's radar. I'm going to pull those two out here in the next day or two. This has been Jenny Jones. You guys take care. Goodbye for now.